Hey guys, it's Nate and Scott with Player Court. Today we're talking about how to turn your backhand into a weapon with better positioning. All right guys, so I know a lot of you obsess over technique on your backhand, but today we're gonna give you a quick action item that's gonna help you improve your results immediately by just focusing on a slightly different target. This video is for players with a player court rating of 50 and up. If you're not in the community or familiar with the rating system, then shame on you, you should join, but it is the equivalent of about a USTA 3.0 and up. So, talking about backhand positioning, we're gonna give them the magic pill that's just gonna immediately have them winning more points with their backhand. Talk to me, how do we get started here? Yeah, I, I think a lot of us um, you know, work on improving the power, the, the, the spin, the depth, but like really there's one target that'll help it immediately for you singles players, all right? For you singles players, a lot of times what we're doing is that we're trying to escape the point with our backhand. We're playing the ball wide and we're just creating bigger problems because we're never getting out of the backhand rally. We're opening up court, court space for them to attack. And if we just focus on the middle and depth, we can resolve it. We're gonna this get out of this backhand This is gonna sound weird rally. for a lot of rec players. They're like, wait a second, like you want me to hit it right to them? Yes, and we'll tell you why. When you're in that cross-court backhand rally, as Nate said, you're gonna get stuck in that cross-court backhand rally. So if you have a weaker backhand, believe it or not, it actually makes more sense to play to the middle, to cause your opponent to play back towards the middle so you can step around it and get more forehands. Depth over direction. Let's jump into demo mode. We're gonna show you and tell you all about this magic little pill. So what you'll see here is Nate and I exchange backhands, my two-hander to his new weaker one-hander. Nate, as he pulls the ball out wide, thinking that he's putting me on defense, actually allows me the opportunity to create a sharper angle, lock him in on the backhand side, and freeze up open court so when the opportunity arises, I have the ability to attack down the line and close out the point. So the adjustment you'll see now is when I pull Nate out wide, rather than pulling me back out wide, he drives to the middle of the court, taking away my angle, which causes me to hit more towards the middle of the court, where he's able to get around it and hit off his stronger side, his forehand, at which point he's able to start to take control of and win the point. So super simple instruction guys, if your backhand is weaker, don't rally sharp cross court, drive through the middle and try and get around it and hit your forehand. What we're talking about is shot tolerance, right? Shot tolerance, it, it, it's like the jab, right? And if you've got a featherweight jab against a heavyweight jab, like you don't wanna be in that point long off that particular wing if it has a lower shot tolerance. So what we're really talking about is depth over direction. What too often happens is that we try to change the pattern with direction first and we end up just getting hurt because angles are going to always create angles. But if you can play deep, chances are that player has to play back through the middle. And you've seen us talk about this off the return of serve. We call it the battering ram. And what this does is it forces in that situation, it forced Scott to play more through the middle where I could centralize my weapon and find the forehand. So it's not necessarily that your backhand is going to get uber awesome. It's just you're going to have a strategy where you don't have to worry about protecting it the whole time. Yeah, I think the reason this is so good for you guys is because it's in our instinct to hit where they're not, right? Like that's what goes through our brain. It's not necessarily, you know, your default thought process to hit up the middle of the court. So I think once you make this change, you're going to see some pretty immediate improvements in, in getting around that weaker backhand and starting to take control of the point. So guys, as always, we hope this instruction helps. If you're not in the player court community, click the link or button, check it out. You'll see a ton of custom video coaching. You'll even get some deals from our partners like Wilson and Tennis Express in there. So definitely check that out. If you like this video or just Nate's new one-handed backhand, press the like button. Some work, guys. And if you don't like it, comment Fine. below and tell us why not. We'll see you soon. Thanks. <laughs> <I'm> jerk. Yeah. <laughs>